Get out of here as well. This damn pruning machine, air compressor. This damn mud, I got um, wooden start. And bloody all came out through the here, through the breather hose, up through there, and clogged up the carby. Yeah, it came up through here and just filled the carby up with oil. The oil was a bit coffee colour, but the, the old man just went and bloody topped it right up with oil and overfilled it. So, yeah, got bloody oil from everywhere and into the intake, into the cylinder, and locked it. But luckily, no damage was done. The valve stems are perfectly straight. The adjustments are still good. There's a lot of carbon in there I'm going to have to wash out, so I'm going to have to... Everything's been dripping dry of oil, so I'm going to have to give everything a good clean and reassemble it, and she should go again. This is what the um, old man just went after the repair shop, just to be sure nothing's done. So, yeah, it's good, because these motors are very, very, very hard to destroy, which is a good thing. There's a lot of bloody carbon in that cylinder. So yeah, I'm going to put them back together and just fill the cylinder up with some turps, just rinse it to get all the carbon and loose oil and crap out, dry it out with compressed air, make sure it's all clean before I start it again. So yeah, good thing I checked everything, all the main parts, without pulling anything, without going any further than this, so hopefully we didn't do any damage, or well, my old man didn't do any damage, because he wanted to try to start it like that, so yeah. Okay, the oil's all. What initially happened was it correct oil level here. It has to be measured on this, um, yeah, registers on this little sensor here. Only when the motor's in its correct angle will that oil level be the right level for this, not to trigger the um, safety shutoff. But when it's on here, and when you park, depending on the ground you're parking it on, it's not, not always on a straight angle. And yeah, and she'll tend to um, be below the sensor and not start. So by my old man toppling it up like an idiot hasn't done it good because it put a little bit too much in this time and yeah it's gone up behind the valve cover too much got in there and it's gone up through there and blown through there into the intake and into the cylinder so it's a good thing no damage was done. So before I put all the final bits back on before I start it I'm gonna just flush the cylinder out with a little bit of mineral turpentine. Help dislodge some of that carbon. There's a bloody lot of it in there. It's just help get the oil excess. Oil, oil is not, not going to hurt it, but I'm mainly doing this because of the carbon deposits that are in there. There's a big, just caked on like crazy. Running this thing on normal fuel is just carbon the hell out of it. it runs good on premium though, it keeps it clean. It's a good thing these engines are known to be very strong, so I'm going to not recommend it, but I'm going to. Flush the cylinder with a little bit of turpentine. So yeah, see how much crap we get out of it. Okay, the oil just got the air compressor, the compressed air, and just blow all the old crap out. Let me think of any exhaust port. There's a lot of carbon there. The valve's closed. The piston's a lot cleaner now. and maybe need to dislodge the air today. Viewers are fully assembled, fresh oil, nice fresh fuel, it was, yeah, nice little batch, fresh batch of fuel in there, answers on and ready to go, alright, now I did before, put a little bit of fuel down and started it, and it should run okay without the exhaust, no, nothing bad happened so that's good, it's actually, yeah, Quite clean now, so let's give this thing a crank up and get it to start. 
Okay, the oars are two pulls and it's already going. Got a little bit of oil left in the cylinder. Of this messy oil off this air compressor and give the engine a bit of a degrease in the wash down and put it all back together, and yeah, she's fixed. So she's got fresh oil, some fuel, cleaned it all out, washed it slowly with a bit of turpentine to get the excess carbon out. She's running beautifully now, so yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>